Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. Welcome to this edition of our Sunday series Places in News where we bring to you some of the places that have been in news lately. So let's begin with our today's discussion with the very first location as the Kerch Strait. Recently this was seen in news a lot because the Kerch Bridge which connects the Russian mainland with the Crimean peninsula caught fire due to an explosion sparked by a truck bomb. So this is amidst the Ukraine Russia war. Let us look into the map where is the Kerch bridge located here as you can see we have the sea of azov and this is the black sea connecting these two water bodies is the strait of kerch so here we have the strait of kerch and as you can see this is crimea or the crimean peninsula which was annexed by russia in the year 2014 this is the mainland ukraine and this is russia so in this region connecting the crimean peninsula and the taman peninsula of russia we have the kerch bridge Now the Kerch Bridge which is also known as the Crimean Bridge or the Kerch Strait Bridge was built by the Russian Federation after the annexation of Crimea at the start of Russia Ukrainian war in the year 2014. So it has a length of 19 kilometers making it the longest bridge in Europe and the longest bridge ever constructed by Russia. Now besides transportation Russia intended the bridge to support its claims to Crimea. So if we talk about the Kerch Strait it is a strait in the eastern europe and it connects the black sea and the sea of azov that separates the kerch peninsula of crimea as we have seen in the map the kerch peninsula of crimea and the taman peninsula of russia further on the most important harbor that is the crimean city of kerch gives its name to the strait so this was formerly known as cimmerian bosphorus i will leave you with one question which two water bodies are connected through the bosphorus strait you can leave your answers in the comment section below now further on the kerch strait has also been called the straits of yenikal after the yenikal fortress in the city of kerch now what is its significance for russia since it is the only direct link between russia and crimea it plays a major role in supplying fuel food and other key goods to crimea which hosts the port of sevastopol now sevastopol is the historic home base of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. So Russia's Black Sea Fleet is the fleet of Russian navy in the Black Sea region, the Sea of Azov and also the Mediterranean Sea. Now let us also have a look on the nearby water bodies and the straits. First of all, in this region here we have the Kerch Strait. So this is the Kerch Strait connecting the Sea of Azov and the Black Sea. Now another one is the Sea of Marmara. So this particular is known as the Sea of Marmara. And here we have the Aegean Sea which is a part of the Mediterranean Sea. Now talking about these straits, connecting the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara, we have the famous Bosphorus Strait which also connects the Thrace region of Turkey to the greater Anatolia region of Turkey itself. So the Bosphorus Strait is a natural strait. Moving further, connecting the Sea of Marmara and the Aegean Sea, we have the Dardanelles Strait. In this region we have the Dardanelles Strait. So this was a little bit about the Kerch Strait and the Kerch Bridge. Let us move on to our next location now, and that is Gambia. Now, recently, Gambia made it to the international news headlines following a global health alert that was issued by the World Health Organization. Now, the World Health Organization stated that four cough and cold syrups were linked to the death of around 69 children in Gambia, and Gambia is a small West African country. Now, all these four cough syrups were produced by an Indian drug maker. that is new delhi based made in pharmaceuticals limited and these syrups have been potentially linked with acute kidney injury so let us look into the map where is gambia situated now as you can see in the map gambia is a strip of land which is around 25 to 50 kilometers wide on either side of the gambia river here as you can see this is the gambia river and also it extends around 480 kilometers into the interior and has a short coastline along the atlantic ocean and further on as you can see it is entirely surrounded by the country called senegal so it is a west african country completely surrounded by senegal the capital of gambia is banjul moreover it is the smallest country within mainland africa now the portuguese were the first europeans to enter gambia region in the year 1455 but they never established important trade in this region Further on in the year 1765 Gambia was made a part of the British Empire. Talking about the climate, Gambia has a tropical climate and important fact that it is also one of the Africa's most densely populated countries. Further on, country's economy is dominated by farming, fishing and especially tourism. 
So this was a little bit about Gambia. Now let us move on to our next location and that is Lebanon. Now recently, Lebanon and Israel have reached a historic deal to end a long-running maritime border dispute in the gas-rich Mediterranean Sea. Let us look into the map where is Lebanon situated. So first of all, Lebanon is a mountainous country that is located on the eastern shore of the Mediterranean Sea. Here we have the Mediterranean Sea. Now, if you talk about the borders, Lebanon borders Israel in the south. Here you can see Israel we have in the south. Also Syria to the north. And also the country shares its maritime borders with Cyprus. Also the capital of Lebanon is Beirut. Now, if we talk about the geographical features, Lebanon mountains are around 240 kilometers long, stretching across nearly the whole length of the country. Talking about the highest peak, it is named as Kurnat al Sauda. Also, the Lebanon mountainous range, it is separated from the anti Lebanon mountains by a fertile valley, it is known as the Bekka Valley. The lowest point is situated in the Mediterranean Sea, and the longest river of the country is the Litani River. Now, let us also talk about Israel. So, as we know, it is a triangular shaped country that is part of Middle East with a coastline at the Mediterranean Sea. And the southern tip of Israel connects it to the Gulf of Aqaba. The Gulf of Aqaba, which is a part of the Red Sea. Now, talking about the borders, Israel borders Egypt. Here we have Egypt or the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt. Further on, it borders Lebanon, Syria and also the Palestine territories, generally which are considered West Bank and Gaza Strip. Here we have the West Bank and this is the Gaza Strip region. And as you can see, it also shares the boundary with Jordan. Further on, as we know, the state of Israel is the only Jewish nation in the world. Now, talking about the geographical features of Israel, we have the Negev Desert, which is located in the south. Also, the mountains of Galilee constitutes the highest part of Israel and the highest point is Mount Meron. If we talk about the longest river, it is the Jordan River. And one important feature is the Great Rift Valley, which is a long fissure in the Earth's crust. It begins beyond the northern frontier of Israel and forms a series of valleys generally in the south direction across the length of the country to the Gulf of Aqaba. So as you can see in the map, here we have Israel. This is the Gulf of Aqaba. Here we have the Lake Tiberias or the Sea of Galilee and the Jordan River starts from this. So as you can see, Jordan River borders Jordan as well as the West Bank region of Palestine and Israel further draining into the Dead Sea. Here we have the Dead Sea. And this is the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt. Here we have the Mediterranean Sea. Here we have the capital city Jerusalem and this is Tel Aviv. And here we have the West Bank and this particular region is known as the Gaza Strip. So this was a little bit about Lebanon and Israel. Now let us move on to our next location and that is Thailand. So recently Thailand abstained from the United Nations General Assembly's voting of condemning Russia's illegal so-called referendums in Ukraine. Let us look into the map where Thailand is located. So as you can see, it is located in the center of mainland Southeast Asia and it is wholly within the tropics. So the country is bordered in the west and northwest by Myanmar. Here we have Myanmar. In the southwest by the Andaman Sea. As you can see, it borders the Andaman Sea to the southwest. In the east and northeast by Lao PDR, Laos. And in the southeast by Cambodia. And towards the south, you see, it is bordered by the Gulf of Thailand. And here we have the Gulf of Thailand. So the Gulf of Thailand is actually an inlet of the South China Sea. As you can see here, we have the South China Sea. So this is an inlet of the South China Sea. And also it is bordered by Malaysia. And as we know, the capital city is Bangkok. As you see towards the south, Thailand also occupies a part of the Malay Peninsula. So this is a part that belongs to Thailand and it is a part of the Malay Peninsula. Now talking about the geographical features, Bangkok, the capital city of Thailand is also known as the Venice of East because there are around 83 canals and Thailand has two principal river systems. The first one is the Chao Praya and the second one is the Mekong River system. If we talk about the highest mountain, it is called Doi Enthanon. So as you can see in the map, this is Thailand, the capital city, Bangkok and these are the famous river. First one is the Chao Praya River and another major river is the Mekong River system. To the south here, we have the Isthmus of Kra. Now, an Isthmus, as we know, is a narrow strip of land which connects two larger land masses and also separates two bodies of water. As you can see over here, we have the Gulf of Thailand, which is a part of the South China Sea. And this is the Andaman Sea. Now, the Isthmus of Kra is also the narrowest part of the Malay Peninsula. As you can see over here, it is the part of the Malay Peninsula. To the north, here we have the Korat Plateau. So this was a little bit about Thailand. Now let us move on to our next location. 
and that is Burkina Faso. So recently, Burkina Faso was in news as it faced a military coup. Let us talk about the country. First of all, it is a landlocked country in West Africa. So Burkina Faso was a former French colony which gained independence as Upper Volta. The name was Upper Volta in the year 1960. Further on, the country was renamed as Burkina Faso on the 4th of August in the year 1984 by the then president Thomas Sankara. So here we have the country Burkina Faso. The capital city is Kwagadogu. If we talk about the bordering nations, to the northwest we have Mali. To the northeast we have Niger. It is bordered by Benin to the southeast and Togo and Ghana to the south. Here we have Benin, Togo and Ghana and also Ivory Coast or Cote d'Ivoire to the southwest. Further on, the northern part of the country has savanna vegetation and the southern has a sparse forest. The trees, karite or the Shia tree and also the baobab or the hibiscus tree are endemic to this particular region. Moreover, there are three principal rivers. We have the Black Volta, the Red Volta and the White Volta, all of which converge in Ghana to the south to form the Volta River, which is the longest river. Now, as you can see, Burkina Faso is also the part of the Sahel region of Africa. Sahel region which starts from Senegal in the west and ends at Eritrea in the east. So, majorly nine African countries are part of the Sahel region. We have the Mauritiana, Senegal, Mali, Burkina Faso. We have the Niger, Nigeria, Chad. Sudan and Eritrea. So this was a little bit about Burkina Faso. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Places in News. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.